Hello. Welcome to the Working Class Musicians blog. Today I'm going to talk about something that affects a lot of people, not only musicians, but people of all walks of life. And what it's called is stage fright. Fear of performing, fear of public speaking, fear of publicity, fear of people in general. Mm. But it affects a lot of, a lot of people and uh, it's a real thing. Everybody gets nerves before they go on stage. Even seasoned pros still get nerves. Because you're putting yourself out there on the line. You're presenting yourself to others or your art or your product and in hopes of approval. So this puts a lot of pressure on you. And we all have the highest expectations of ourselves. More so than anybody else does, really. And that's the first thing I'm going to talk about. Is how nobody else really cares as much as you do about how well you perform. I'm sure you've seen a bad performance at one point or another. And you thought, oh man, this is bad. I almost feel embarrassed for this guy or this gal. And you might remember it for a little while, but chances are it's not going to affect you. You're not going to see that person at the grocery store the next week and be like, oh, see that? That's that person. There, there she is. Oh, that's terrible. You know. Now, if you go on American Idol and, and horribly on that show and you know there's a lot more people watching that <laughs> you're bound to get more people that dislike it and think less of you but in reality um for open mic night and karaoke or public speaking at a work function or simple things like going to a job interview can be very stressful for a lot of people and I'm going to talk about some simple tips to combat that fear and help you get in the zone so that you can perform your best at your best level. I remember when I first started out, my very first experience playing in front of a crowd, I was playing the guitar back in 8th grade at this um, high school recital type of thing and it was nerve wracking I had practiced Stairway to Heaven from start to finish for weeks and in preparing for this first show and I was the only guitar player and, I mean there were a bunch of musicians here that were all competing, you know, on, on uh, brass instruments and reed instruments and, you know, or orchestral type stuff. And these students were well trained. I mean, they knew how to read music, they knew music theory. I didn't have a clue. I just knew how to play the guitar. So I thought, well, you know, I'm a musician, they're musicians same thing, right? I mean, I just, I didn't think it through quite thoroughly. Not that it matters, because we all played music, we all enjoyed ourselves, and uh, it was a good thing. But I remember walking into the gymnasium and seeing just a wall of people. The place was packed. It was unbelievable. You know, there must have been 300 or more people there. All, you know, 
sitting on the on the bleachers, <laughs> and I'd never been in front of so many people staring at me like that before. It was horrifying. So the best I could do was just close my eyes and uh, kind of pretend that I was in my bedroom like I'd been before practicing that song and then just pretend that they weren't there. You know, the energy and the feel though, they were there the whole time. You can't completely... Alright, anyhow. Getting back at it, okay? Played in front of like 300 people in this gymnasium, right? And just blocked them out. And when I finally finished, my heart's just pounding. And I made it through without making like too many mistakes. I might, I probably made a couple mistakes in there, but they weren't too bad. So, overall, it's pretty good performance. And um, the, the crowd just cheered. First time I ever heard like a crowd cheering for me. I didn't know how, I didn't know how to handle it. You know, you, you think you, you think you know how to handle it, you think that's what you want, until you get it, and it's like, um, I, didn't, I didn't know how to handle it, I enjoyed it, I soaked it up, and it went on, and then I played, uh, three or four of those shows, maybe five, where we did a tour, and the school went and competed with other schools. So in the next couple of weeks, we basically went on tour, <laughs> for lack of a better term, um, in eighth grade, getting on the school bus and traveling to these other schools to play on their in their gyms or their theaters. So it was kind of cool. I didn't appreciate it as much back then. I just thought, oh, you know, whatever. That's just, that's just what we're doing. Um, one of the schools had. Uh, television camera there and they were broadcasting it on the local television show so I was super like nervous about that and I never did see the performance on TV I never like talked to anybody who had happened to catch it or record it or anything like that but I was on TV when I was in 8th grade playing in front of a you know a decent sized audience so Again, I employed the same tactics there. I just tried to block them out, you know. And when you're on stage and you have a spotlight on you, it is really easy to just wash it out because that, that spotlight in your eyes makes everybody almost disappear anyhow. Um, you know, it, it, if you adjust your focus. So, I mean, when you're first starting out, that's probably the best thing to do. Okay. Aside from the simple fact that you need to take a deep breath, you need to be prepared. You don't want to be going up there winging it. Be prepared. Practice over and over and over again. Practice with your eyes closed. Practice distracted. So you can come back and get right into the song and into your part if you lose yourself. Practice in front of a smaller audience, the campfire backyard, play to the neighbors, whether they're listening or not, play on your front porch, um, just get used to being heard, and not being ashamed of it, not being embarrassed, um, but take a deep breath, relax, get comfortable in yourself, and if you want to take it one step further, meditate. Meditation is like so important when you're a performing artist because you can calm yourself, you can get yourself centered, you can see yourself performing well and getting in the zone. You're practicing getting in the zone over and over and over again. And if you're a guitar player, hold a guitar pick while you meditate. Take deep breaths, follow your breath, envision yourself putting on a spectacular performance. Playing flawlessly, nice and relaxed and calm in front of thousands of people over and over and over again. So 
that when you actually pick up that guitar pick and you hold it, you're going to have the same sort of uh, uh, neurochemical reactions in your body. You're not going to get the, the stress hormones released. Flight or fight instinct's not going to kick in as, as hard. Training your body to react in the appropriate way. But nerves and fear is a good thing because it does sharpen your senses, but you, you can't let it spike your, your uh, adrenaline levels to the point where you can't focus, you can't relax anymore. It's the same thing with, you know, I always had like, when I was playing in bars and stuff, I would always say one drink per hour is good. You know, any more than that, I felt like I would start you know, forgetting my words, forgetting my lines, forgetting the, how to play, you know, it messes with you, so, it's, it's good to be sober when you're playing, it really is, um, but also re relaxation, meditation, uh, if you're going to, to give a, a, an important speech, or, uh, anything like that, then, again, rehearse it, Practice it. Practice it in your mind over and over again. And then before you go on, take a deep breath. You want to be reviewing the stuff that you're going to be, you know, saying and the, and the points and stuff before you go up there. But right before you get on stage, that's when you just want to take a deep breath, clear your mind of all thoughts, get into that relaxed mode. Where you're at peace, your mind is clear, you can focus. That's so critical. And remember that, you know, people just aren't going to care as much as you do. So just go out there and give it your best and, and be happy with it. You know, which leads me to, to another point that you don't have to give a perfect performance every time even the great performers will have a bad performance every now and then they've had to, to, to suffer through bad performances you know everybody's had to fall down at least once nobody's perfect and just went up and just aced every exam and, and nailed every performance it, it just doesn't work that way so, be okay with it. Don't take yourself so too seriously. You know, it's not that important. It's not one shot, you only get one shot and you better make it right, because if you blow it, you're done. And it's not like that. You, you get as many sh chances as you want to get it right. You just keep trying. That's what separates the masters from the beginners. Masters have failed way more times than the novices even tried. So you get up there and you fail and you pick yourself up and you try again. And it's only failure if you stop trying. I have aspirations to write a hundred songs. I probably have 300 incomplete songs. That might be an exaggeration, but I do have many, 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 many incomplete songs. And I've only probably written complete songs that I could count on two hands. So, I gotta just complete a bunch of bad songs to get to 100, you know, and then I figure uh, out of 100 I'll have at least another good 10 good songs, right? 100 performances to get 10 great ones. You know, whatever. You'll you probably have a lot more than that. You know, you'll probably only have one bad performance out of 10. But be okay with that. You really have to, to, to be okay with not being good enough that's that's the big secret to getting on stage performing to speaking in front of others is just do you 
say what you have to say, play what you have to play, and as long as you're into it, if you're passionate about it, and your energy level is high, you're enthusiastic about it, and you stand behind whatever message it is that you're delivering, then you're going to succeed. Because that's all that matters. If you're feeling it, they'll feel it too. And don't try to please everybody. Because you're not going to please everybody. Just try to please one person. And that's yourself. And I can almost guarantee that if you please yourself, you're going to please at least one other person out there. And that is all you really need to do. Is just reach one person to be a success. So right now I'm putting together a course um, designed to help you go from maybe having very little experience to none at all. Um, whether you're a beginner, you're just learning to play an instrument, or you've been playing for a while, but you still get nerves, you still have a fear of getting in front of others, sharing your art, sharing your music. Um, I'm putting together a course right now that I'll walk you step by step through the whole process. And especially if you're just starting out and you're having trouble playing an instrument at the same time as singing, because that's really tricky. That was one of the hardest things I had to do um, was try to sing while I played a guitar. So I've got some good tricks to help you do that. And another thing too was playing up alone by myself on stage. It's, it was much easier to play with a band because you got somebody else to hide behind. When you're out there all by yourself, you, you can't hide. So it's it takes a lot of courage. So uh, part of the course too is going to help you um, develop those skills. I'm going to walk you through step by step the techniques, share with you some more personal stories of mine and how I conquered my own challenges and overcame my own fears and was able to play in front of people and to this day um, yes I still get nerves but you know I, I know how to handle them and once the uh, once the lights go down and the music kicks in it's all gone I'm at, I'm at ease I'm at peace and I'm in in my element so I can help you get there so uh, don't be scared. Face your fears. If you need any help, if you uh, share your personal story in the comments below, you're not alone. There are others. So many, so many of us struggle with stage fright and fear of public speaking, fear of recording on video. Uh, that's one of my personal fears is, is recording myself. So I'm doing it every day now. Um, to help myself get over this and hopefully inspire you to overcome that sort of fear. So, uh, once again, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate it. Please hit the like button, subscribe. There's plenty more coming. I hope you get something out of this. If you're the one person I helped today, hey, <laughs> cool man, cool. Uh, wish the I wish you the best. See you next time.